is Andrea from House Pro. Today, we'll talk about 3D floor plans. Creating a 3D floor plan on House Pro offers you tons of customization. You have different options to start a floor plan. You can start from scratch, use the House Pro app to scan rooms, and then design further on your desktop. You can also upload an existing 2D plan or start from a template our designer's team have created. Once you're on your floor plan, you can make it look exactly how you want, and it's a great tool to communicate the vision of the project to your clients and team members. At the top, you'll find the toolbar. Here, you can draw walls, take measurements, design outdoor surfaces, change your settings and what you see, and zoom in and out of your floor plan. You can undo and redo as you make changes. Click the icon to draw walls. Here, you'll see red tracking lines to guide you to 90-degree angles. Dragging the wall will keep it connected to its adjacent walls. You can move walls by selecting and dragging them. To change the length of a wall precisely, select the wall, then click on the wall dimension you want to change, type the new desired wall length, and then use the arrow button to choose which wall endpoint to adjust the wall length to. You can also adjust the wall thickness and adjust the height. Here, you can see the wall area for the wall that you've selected. Click the Structures tab on the right to add things like doors and windows. Just drag them into your floor plan. You can change its size and select the finish of the door, as well as the hardware like the handle. For the finish, you can choose from various colors from our partnerships with Benjamin Moore and Sherwin Williams. You also have a selection of hundreds of paint colors. Floors are automatically added once you create a closed shaped wall. You can add ceilings to any room and adjust the room height accordingly. In the Generic Products tab, you can search and sort through hundreds of items to add to your 3D floor plan. When you drag an item into your floor plan, it will automatically snap into place to align with walls and other items nearby. You can also change the item size and select its finish. In the Source tab, you can add exact 3D models of furniture from hundreds of retailers available through the House Trade Program. You can purchase these items on the House website and find reviews and more information. On the top, you'll see the viewing modes. First is the floor plan. This is a 2D mode, like a blueprint. The second is the dollhouse mode. This shows you the room from a 3D perspective. Left-click to rotate the perspective view and right-click to move and pan your view. In this mode, you're still able to click on items in the floor plan, move them, and see their information, such as clicking on the floor will tell you its area and perimeter, and you can change the flooring. You can also add a label to the room and comment with your clients and team. Speaking of comments, you have the ability to attach a comment to any elements or rooms present in your floor plan to help either your client or team navigate through your vision. The last mode is the walkthrough mode. This shows you the room as if you're standing in it. In all of these modes, you can navigate throughout the room using left click to rotate or right click to adjust the position. The buttons at the top allow you to take more actions, such as creating a new floor plan, duplicating this one, sharing the floor plan, and saving it. Now that you know how to create a 3D floor plan, Use the life-size walkthrough feature to impress clients and share your vision by immersing them in a virtual tour of the finished project with the backdrop of their home. Use this on the mobile app. Thanks for watching, everyone.